Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Michael Choi, and it's really nice to uh, kickstart this class. And as mentioned in the, uh, the face Facebook message, uh, this group is mostly uh, those that know me or uh, know uh, my friends or my family members or friends of my friends. So it's going to be a very close group and I'm really excited to teach. We also have uh, some teenagers uh, joining the class as well. Uh, kids of my friends or again, you know, kids of my friends' friends. So uh, the way that uh, this class is going to work is going to be a little bit different than what you may be used to. And in fact, it's actually a little different than the way that I taught um, when I was teaching at Coding Dojo. Um, we're going to do a few things differently, and it is going to be an experiment for me too to try some of the new uh, teaching channel. But I think, you know, this is going to be fun and um, you, will, you will learn a lot. So let me cover a few things. First, I want, just wanted to welcome everyone. Uh, this is going to be really fun. I hope that uh, with coronavirus and everyone staying home, this will give you something additional thing to do. Um, and I'm really glad to connect with uh, some of the people that signed up that I haven't talked to for years. So it's really, really nice to see some of my friends um, back even you know from uh, the college days. So I'm really, really excited. Okay, so what uh, is going to be covered in this class is going to be um, the basics of computer programming. And we're going to start with JavaScript. I think, you know, towards the end of the class, I'm going to introduce Python. Um, and learning Python should be very easy once you get familiar with some of the syntaxes of JavaScript or any other programming language. So um, we'll cover that. Now, in terms of the expectations, what do I expect you to do? How many hours are you supposed to put in? Well, I know that some of you are very busy and you may not be able to spend that much time. I'm hoping you spend at least, at the minimum, 15 to 20 hours. Um, we do have enough course materials here that you could spend 40 to 60 hours if you want or more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to structure the class using our Facebook group the units on the right, educational units, so that if you're spending only 15 to 20 hours, you still get a lot out of the course. But if you are able to spend a lot more, there are ample uh, materials for you to study and level up. All right, so I did mention about the units on the left. I uh, start from the first unit, go all the way to the bottom, you know, finish as much as you can. And we're gonna use the Facebook group to facilitate conversation. Now, if you get stuck, um, ask someone in the forum, in the Facebook group for help. And also, if you solve that problem, help that person. The best way to learn and really internalize concept is by helping another person. Um, the way that our class is gonna be structured is I'm not gonna have a lot of videos. Uh, videos are a good passive learning method, but video only gets your knowledge up to your head. It doesn't really get you to fully internalize that knowledge. So um, I'm going to do short videos where I'm going to teach you some concepts and then you're going to go right into code and actually start building things. And that's how it gets internalized. And then in, you may still not fully internalize it, help someone else who's struggling. And in the process of vocalizing, verbalizing what you just learned, what used to be just a temporary knowledge then becomes a permanent knowledge. So uh, take the opportunity to help someone else in the group and you will see that you're also going to level up a lot faster and you'll, you'll, you'll have a lot of fun too. And this is why larger the class, easier it is because there's more people for you to get help. All right. Um, I did mention in the units I'm going to have videos um, and I'm going to have assignments for you to complete. And I'll explain more as you go through the units. Now, there is going to be a final exam. Um, you know, I'm a teacher uh, at heart, so there's going to be an exam. So next week, I'm going to give you a test. And I expect everyone to take it. And um, I'll have to think about how I want to structure it. But right now, I'm thinking uh, we'll have an easy question, intermediate question, hard question. And if you uh, get all three, 
all three of them, you will definitely get a certificate. But if you get maybe two, maybe I'll still give you a certificate of completion just to indicate that you took the course, you leveled up, and you accomplished uh, this milestone. So anyway, I'll share more information uh, as you go along. But again, welcome to the class, and um, we're going to have a lot of fun. Okay.